Hello y'all, this is the Ninja DC. Today is my promised recap of why Tartarus was Fairy Tail's best arc, at least in my opinion, but most likely in the opinion of every other Fairy Tail fan. This will be very cliff noted and built around a lot of my personal wow moments. However, let's first recap this week's episode and chapter. In the anime, the filler continues. However, like with the last arc, it picks up significantly near the end, and certainly did last week with the Spirit Beast King. It seems my main fears were put to rest, as Natsu and everyone bucking else was barely able to stand after their failed full frontal assault. It does appear Natsu will save the day, but he certainly won't do it through raw strength and by beating the Princess Mokonoke's forest god, I mean spirit beast. As for the manga's chapter, not much to say, quite literally, as it's fairy tale second silent chapter. The main thing to note is Guildarts is still as hilarious as he is powerful, and it seems we will be jumping straight into the time skip next week. Like I said before, Hero really does seem to hate training arcs to a humorous degree. With that out of the way, let's begin. The first defining aspect of this arc started right out of the gate, with the darker tone established by the death of the entire Magic Council and hundreds of others of just innocent villagers who were poisoned to death despite Laxus's self-sacrificing efforts that left him on the verge of death. Fairytale not taking kindly to this, they are Fairytale, set out to stop Tartarus with dire results. These are not wizards they are fighting, but demons from Zareph's book and masters of curses. While not a total loss, they realize they just kicked the hornet's nest. Moments before a mind-bucked elfman blows up the guild as Tartarus observes up in their magic board cube in the sky. All is not lost as Veritale escapes death thanks to Kana's card magic and they take the fight to the demons. A series of battles follows and Veritale gets some leverage against the demons, highlighted by Windy going Dragon Force and taking out Tartarus' anti-magic weapon. However, we would find that was not the only one, but one of thousands. Master Marg, King of Tartarus, finally has had enough of these distractions and uses a massive sealing magic, well, curse, that incapacitates every single member of Fairytale as the magic board cube goes into war mode and starts destroying the cities below. Well, every member of Fairytale save Lucy, who has to take on the entire demon guild on her own. Against the odds, she holds out pretty long and goes on to summon three gates at once. But against multiple S-Class demons, hope is all lost until Aquarius offers up a solution in sacrificing her own key to summon the Spirit King. After much internal struggle, Lucy says farewell to her longest kept spirit and summons the Spirit King, who casually destroys the board cube in two strokes. What follows is a battle of spirit and demon kings as Lucy takes on and beats a Tartarus S-Class demon on her own with the aid of Aquarius's magic. The battle of kings ends with a draw of sorts, but not before the Spirit King frees all Fairytale, and temporarily seals Mard. What follows is a third round of fights where Fairytale's main cast drives the victory home. While every battle was memorable and awesome, by far the best and most heartfelt was Grey vs. Zero, the reanimated corpse of his father. After a battle reminiscent of Itachi vs. Sasuke minus the Sharingan shenanigans, Zero gives Grey a parting gift of Demon Slayer magic. However, despite these victories, the demon's anti-magic plan is almost about to succeed, and worse yet, Acnology appears once more. All seems lost until BAM. Igneal breaks free from his seal and takes on Acnologia in a battle of Saiyan proportions, as the other dragons destroy all the anti-magic devices. Grey and Natsu confront Mard in a very hard-fought battle, but in a last-minute trick attack, Grey is able to use his last bit of strength and newfound Demon Slayer magic to take down Mard gear. However, the joy is short-lived as Xerath appears and effortlessly takes E&D, the book, and leaves. Worse yet, in their final blows, Igneal rips up Agnolaje's arm, but at the cost of half of his body. His fall and death is not the only one, as all the Dragon Slayers must say farewell to their parents as they fade away forever. Following this is the events I noted last week, with the disbanding of Fairy Tail and the revelation that Natsu is E.N.D., Zero's most strong demon. And that is just my personal cliff note. There's much more awesome sh** that I could not even cover. That is why, without a doubt, I consider Tartarus Fairy Tail's best arc, and can't wait for it to be animated. Well, this is the Ninja DC. Keep calm and an open mind.